Edwin Hubble was sitting at Mount Wilson, which is up from Pasadena, California. On a clear day, you can look down and see where the Rose Parade goes. It's, it's that close to civilization. But even uh, in the early 1900s, the people who selected this site for astronomy picked an excellent site. The, the, the clouds and smog are below you. And Edwin Hubble sat there at his, this very big telescope, night after night, studying the heavens. And he found that the stars are moving apart. The stars are moving apart. And he wasn't sure why, but it was, it was clear that the stars are moving farther and farther apart all the time. So people talked about it for a couple decades. And then eventually uh, another astronomer, almost a couple decades, another astronomer, Fred Hoyle, just remarked, uh, well, it was like there was a big bang. Uh, there was an explosion. This is to say, since everything's moving apart, it's very reasonable that at one time they were all together. And there's a place from whence, or rather whence, these things uh, expanded. And it was a remarkable insight. But people went uh, still questioning it for decades, science and conventional scientists questioning it for decades. Uh, these two researchers wanted to listen for radio signals from space, radio astronomy. And this is, while we have visible light for our eyes, there's a whole nother bunch of waves uh, of light that are much longer. The microwaves in your oven are about that long. The radar at the airport is about that long. Your uh, FM radio signals about like this. Uh, AM radio signals are kilometer. There are a couple, several soccer fields. They went out uh, listening, and there was this hiss, this tss, all the time that wouldn't go away. And they thought, oh, doggone it, there's some loose connector. They plugged in the connector. They, they re-screwed it, they made it tight. They turned it this way, the hiss was still there. They heard it that way, it's just still there. They thought it was pigeon droppings that had affected the reception of this horn, it's called. This thing is still there. It's in Basking Ridge, New Jersey. It's a National Historic Site. And Arno Penzias and Robert Wilson had found this cosmic background sound that was predicted by astronomers. Astronomers running the numbers, doing math, predicted that in the cosmos would be left over this echo, this, this energy from the Big Bang that would be detectable. And they detected it. We built the cosmic observatory for background emissions, the COBE spacecraft, and it matched exactly, exactly the astronomers' predictions. You gotta respect that. 